COVID-19 is surely changing the way you'll be shopping from now on. Yeah, in an effort to help flatten the curve, many stores here in the tri-state are implementing new guidelines when it comes to getting your necessities. 44 News reporter Andrew Garcia caught up with shoppers in our area. He has more now on how everyone is adjusting. This week, Walmart and Schnucks announced that they will take further steps to slow the spread of the coronavirus by limiting the number of shoppers allowed in a store at a given time. And while they are being forced to quickly adjust, shoppers shared their thoughts on the matter. I was in here last week, and a lot's changed uh, from then because with the them releasing that on Friday, they've added a lot more um, restrictions on where you can and can't go, and they have employees walking around and kind of checking, making sure nobody's standing in one place, just kind of hanging out in there, making sure that they are keeping people getting in and getting out, getting everything that they need. Shopping will now take longer. However, customers believe that these are the right steps to take in slowing the spread of the coronavirus. It can be hard because, uh, like I said, I have a family of seven at home, and sometimes there's not everything that we need because I don't like to take everything because I want to leave it for others as well, but I need to get what I need to get as well. With there being a limit on the number of people allowed in a store, shoppers must now plan ahead before heading out to shop. Definitely write down a list of what you need, and then if you can't get that, what else can you get? Because, I mean, we had a couple things on our list that weren't there today because they were just out of it so there were we had to get substitutes for it so definitely have some somewhat of a backup grocery list I guess <laughs> one thing we did when we were in that we split up the list so that we could get in and get out faster which is obviously easier for us and it helps other people not crowd and as far as those guidelines go Walmart will only allow five customers per 1,000 square feet and some stores will lay down markers to direct one-way traffic Schnooks has asked that just one person per household enter their stores Andrew Garcia 44 news Thank you, Andrew. And with that in mind, it's no surprise that more people than ever before are turning to apps to get their groceries delivered while practicing social distancing. Digital delivery services were already growing in popularity before the coronavirus pandemic. Now, for some, they're a lifeline. Retail analysts say even after the virus goes away, consumer habits may be changed forever. A recent study shows that 31% of U.S. households bought groceries online during the month of March. That's up more than 145% compared to a 2019 survey. Some of these uh, people who are temporarily using online channel, they will continue using. They see that it's not really that bad. And in fact, it is a lot more convenient. Some gig economy workers think more is needed to keep them safe. Advocacy group Gig Workers Collective organized a strike made mostly of Instacart workers protesting for protective gear and higher pay. Instacart responded by saying the company is providing its employees reusable face masks, hand sanitizer, and thermometers.